Hello everyone. Today I'll be sharing a buttermilk uh, pound cake recipe. I'll be using the bun pan. I'm going to show everyone how to prepare the pan before using it uh, for baking. Next, I'll be showing everyone what are the ingredients needed. Okay, I'm going to sieve uh, the dry ingredients. I'm using all-purpose flour. All-purpose flour is the same as plain flour, medium protein flour. Sieve into a clean bowl. Okay, baking powder, salt. Sieve all together to remove lumps or anything dirty mix it and then uh, set it aside before I start mixing I'm going to preheat the oven uh, first and we'll continue with the rest later okay it's time to preheat the oven I will be using top and bottom heat only uh, I'll be setting at 165 degrees Celsius top and bottom I'm going to preheat it for about 20 minutes. Okay, let's start now. As usual, I'll be using my favorite InnoFood KT 7600 stand mixer to mix the batter. Okay, on. First, I'm going to put the butter, all the, the unsalted butter. into the mixing bowl next caster sugar okay we can start mixing now I'll be using the silicone bitter Attach it. Okay, you need to mix uh, the butter and the sugar till uh, they are light and fluffy. One, two, three, four. Okay, I'm going to zoom in and show everyone how the stand mixer works. Okay, I'm going to increase to speed six. Going to beat the butter and sugar till light and fluffy. going to take about three to four minutes I'm going to show everyone how it looks like now I'm going to scrape the side here okay Continue. One, two, three, four, five, six, speed six. This uh, InnoFood KT 7600 stand mixer can need up to 2 kg of uh, dough. And also, it's low noise, 
and uh, it's my favorite uh, stand mixer. Okay, I'm going to show everyone again. It's getting lighter. I'm going to scrape. Continue. Speed six, three, four, five, six. Check the bottom, you see it's nicely mixed. Okay, I'm going to mix it a bit more. Two, three, four, five, six, six, six. What's the advantage of the silicone beater? The silicone beater has a very unique shape and it will scrape the side of the bowl so uh, I don't have to scrape uh, very often Okay, almost done Let's show everyone how it looks like Okay I'm going to beat a bit more. Beat one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, ready? I'm going to scrape it a bit. Okay, next we'll be adding the eggs in so we'll be using speed 3 1, 2, 3 ok, I'm going to add in one egg at a time make sure it's uh, well incorporated before we add in the next egg The reason why I'm not using a uh, higher speed because I did I, I don't want the egg to splash everywhere when we are mixing. That one. Next. Okay, I'm gonna increase the speed four. Scrape a bit. Show everyone how the batter looks like now. Okay, one, two. I'm going to use B3 again. Okay. Add in one more egg. Still using speed 3 Okay next 
We'll be adding the flour and the buttermilk. Okay, I'm going to show everyone how the batter looks like now. Scrape a bit. Okay, I'm going to add some flour. Flour uh, divide into three batches and the buttermilk into two batches. Always end with flour later on. Split one. Always start with split one when you are mixing the flour. Two. Three. Next batch of flour. Okay, all the buttermilk. Okay, I'm going to scrape a bit. Okay, continue mixing. Split one. Speed two, speed three. Okay, I'll we'll show everyone how it looks like now. I'm gonna clean up the attachment here. The batter has become very very smooth. Okay, last batch of the flour. I'm gonna pour everything in. Three. Okay, I'm going to clean the attachment here. I'm not going to mix it for very long because if I do so, the gluten will be will built up more and the cake will be dense and hard later on. Just a while more. As long as the flour uh, has been incorporated well. One, two, three. Okay, done. I'm going to show everyone how it looks like now. Okay. And the attachment. Okay, I'm going to... Okay, it's time to transfer the batter into the bun pan which we oil and flour earlier. Better is uh, thick. Okay, make sure distribute evenly.
for this recipe, you actually can add lemon extract, lemon zest, poppy seeds. But I'm just going to do a plain one today. I'm going to smooth, smoothen the uh, layer on top of here and come back shortly. Okay, I'm going to smooth. Make sure all the batter filled up the sides of the pan. Oven is going to get ready. Just hold on. Okay. See? Make sure all the surface here level. Okay, next thing we're going to knock the pan one two three four four sides why to remove air bubble from the batter okay next will be baking time okay oven is ready okay place it into the rack here in the center okay i'm going to bake it for uh, 60 minutes and see uh, if it's cooked by then, or else we'll have to add time. Okay, so using top and bottom mode, top and bottom heat only mode, 165 degrees Celsius top and bottom. I have set at uh, one hour. Start. Okay, uh, end up baking this cake for 70 minutes. Let me test. Okay, the pin is clean. Oh, smells wonderful. Okay, don't worry about the crack because we are going to turn the cake, uh, turn over. So uh, this one is going to be at the bottom. Okay, I'm going to leave uh, the pan on the wire rack for about 15 to 20 minutes. When it's slightly cool, the cake will shrink a bit. Uh, so it's easier for us to unmold the cake. I'll see all of you uh, in about 15 to 20 minutes time. Okay, uh, the cake is still uh, warm, actually hot. The pan is very hot, so I'm using the glove. I'm going to turn the cake over. Wait, let me use this. Lift up. Okay, look at the cake. I've unmolded the cake after resting uh, the cake in the bun pan for about 15 minutes. Look at the pattern. Okay, I'm going to let it cool completely before I dust some dusting sugar on top. You can use icing sugar, but I'm going to use dusting sugar. Uh, I'll see all of you later. After the cake has uh, cooled down completely, I'm going to dust the surface of the cake with dusting sugar. I prefer to use the dusting sugar because it doesn't melt 
when it's a uh, humid show everyone. I'm going to zoom in and show everyone how the cake looks like now. Okay, this is the, how the cake looks like after uh, I dusted with some dusting sugar. You can use icing sugar as I said. You can eat uh, the cake with whipping cream, whatever uh, additional topping uh, that you like or that you prefer. Now I'm going to uh, slice the cake. Show everybody. How it looks like for my bun cake I can actually slice about 18 pieces look at how moist Slice two. Ah, oh, they warm. Okay. Look at how moist the cake. The cake is. Okay, I hope everybody uh, will try uh, this recipe. Uh, I have actually decreased uh, the sugar amount, so it's not so sweet. If you prefer uh, sweeter cakes, if you have sweet tooth, then you may want to increase the sugar amount higher, another 20% more. But I'm fine with this uh, sweetness. So I will see everyone very, very soon and happy baking.